What's up you guys? Is the Tron Foundation dissolving going to mean the end for Tron TRX and BitTorrent BTT? The Redditors have been going crazy the past few days. Stock twits, people have been writing off the wall things, some of them to me. So I want to set the record straight, share my opinion with you on what this means and if it is the end or not. Before I get into that, if you're new to the channel, Welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you guys more than you could possibly imagine. If you're new, we occasionally do giveaways. If you want to help out the channel and also have a chance at one of our occasional giveaways, please comment down below, hit the bell so you don't miss future videos and also subscribe and hit the like button. So let's get into it and let's see what's going on. First, we'll do a quick flash round through the news and I'm going to get into exactly what I'm talking about when I say, is it going to mean the end of the company because the Tron network is dissolving itself? So we got Justin Sun appointed as the WTO ambassador for Grenada by the Minister of Foreign Affairs. So this is what kicked everything off. And we're going to cover that in a minute. I'm going to actually just take a peek here and do a quick flash round through the news so we could see what's going on in the rest of crypto land and then I'll get into this within the next minute I promise you I won't be taking too too long to cover what I'm talking about so we got Bitcoin wobbling at below 46k as one BTC passes 800k Turkish Lira for the first time don't expect retail sell-off to crash Bitcoin the biggest winners and losers of crypto in 2021 we got the Chinese companies embarking on a metaverse trademark. We've got the play to earn NFT gaming portal and platform combines the metaverse with esports to encourage participation. You know, this is a natural fit to the mainstreaming. Play to earn the NFT gaming portal and platform combines the metaverse with esports to encourage participation. Esports coupled with typical GameFi, which means to me, well, to me, I mean, not just to me, but I think a lot of people, when they think of games, they think of everything from esports to, um, you know, Mortal Kombat to you name it. Basically, games of skill to gambling to shooting games to first person games to multi person games to esports. It's all together and it all creates a vortex of liquidity, a vortex of wealth. And when you mince this together with the NFTs, you have an animal that's better, stronger, faster with GameFi and the metaverse than anything ever before. So look for this to be one of the big catalysts for the mainstreaming that's upcoming. So let's get into it. Is the Tron network going to destroy Tron TRX and BitTorrent BTT because of the fact that they're dissolving? So I'm going to share with you my opinion in a minute. Let's get into what started it off with the announcement and the open letter that Justin Sun was appointed ambassador of Grenada. So simultaneously, Tron founder Justin Sun has revealed that he is stepping down from his position of CEO and will take up a job with the government of Grenada as its ambassador to the World Trade Organization. Sun's expertise in the blockchain industry will likely breeze some much needed fresh air into the regional economy as Grenada or Grenada, as some would say, <laughs> Uh, intergovernmental organization are among the hardest hit by the COVID-led tourism shutdown industry, industry shutdown, not shutdown industry, said the Tron Foundation in a press release. So sure, I mean, they, they were hard hit. Obviously, any place that depends on tourism was hard hit. And I made a video many, many weeks ago before all this started. And I said, and some people loved it and some people laughed, that Tron and BitTorrent would eventually become credit cards. And I also said that you can look for them and Tron to actually become a currency uh, of a country at some point in time, the same way that El Salvador adopted Bitcoin, someone would be adopting Tron. Now, it looks like, in my opinion, the leader right now, the natural leader for this to happen um, is Grenada, right? Or Grenada, not Grenade. Don't confuse the two. Anyhow, it's not a grenade for Tron. I think that what Justin Sun is up to is kind of interesting. I believe that he will do whatever he can to make it beneficial for all involved and for Tron to actually TRX, I feel, will become the currency, the only currency, and if not the only currency, will somehow be brought in to trade within 
Grenada, Grenada, tomato, tomato. Listen, I got to be silly sometimes. You know what? Everything's just too serious in this world and it is a serious topic. And I know a lot of you guys, some of you are stressed out, some of you aren't. Long story short, Tron's becoming a currency, okay? I believe, in my opinion, TRX will become a currency in that country. It'll be um, one of the, I think, more popular currencies, at least in the Caribbean. And I don't think that this is too, too far from happening. And everyone that's freaking out is going to realize they wasted a lot of time being worried because the project will continue. It will not dissolve. The coins will not go bust because the Tron network is dissolving. I'm going to explain to you why right now. So we'll go deeper into the article here. And for this reason, the Tron Foundation's three original nodes, Justin Suntron, BitTorrent, and Torrent have withdrawn from the list of blockchain's super representatives, essentially key players in the Tron's governance system, leaving the network in the hands of the 27 super representatives hosted entirely by the community. That's decentralized. It means that, simply put, the network is not going to disappear. Everything that is the foundation of Tron TRX and the way these things work is not disappearing. Do you understand? It's staying and it's going to be in the hands of the 27 super representatives in terms of its operability and governance. It's that simple. It's that one sentence. So don't worry. The dissolving words scared the living bejeebers out of many, but it's a big nothing burger. As for this new appointment in Grenada's ambassador to the WTO in Geneva, Sun said it would allow him to fight for the interests of developing countries as well as promote the development of the blockchain industry and digital economy. It's time to forge closer collaboration between the blockchain industry and the international sovereign states, he stated. I believe that the World Trade Organization's recognition of blockchain technology's value is of vital importance in our industry. So... I think that, you know, the the emotions run high in the stock market, but I think they run even higher with cryptocurrencies and it's understandable. And this doesn't just lie in with tie in with Tron and, and BitTorrent. I think this rings true with most cryptocurrency investors that are not multimillionaires, that are not billionaires, independently wealthy. Uh, the majority of the retail investors, basically, as we everyone refers to them, you know, um, depend on this money and emotions run high and everyone wants quick returns. And when you see something like uh, a headline like dissolving, of course, it, it, it scares people. But I do encourage you to, especially when something brings a, a, a strong emotional response to your body, to your psyche, especially if you feel it's a negative one take 10 steps back, take several deep breaths if need be, and dig deeper into the data, into the information. Because most of the time, when you think something is very, very bad with the investing, it really isn't. It's never near as bad as you think. Just like things that are euphorically exciting are never as great as you think. So it's important to stay even keel for best results. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. As usual, hope this finds you healthy, happy. Subscribe and hit the bell if you didn't already. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I will see you on the next video.